Yo, what's up, Fatherpreneur? It's your favorite Fatherpreneur. And I know y'all been hearing all the fuss about ChatGPT AI. It's supposed to help you speed up your productivity. It's supposed to be able to create all this content and do all these amazing things. But there's one huge mistake that people are making when it comes to ChatGPT, and that is they're not training it. So this is part one of a two-part series where I break down not only how to train ChatGPT, but I know y'all been following your boy and I know y'all building your own online community. So I'm going to teach you how to train ChatGPT to sound like you and create a ton of content to help you feel and provide value to your online community. So let's go. So number one on our list, the first thing you got to get ChatGPT to do is to help you define your brand voice. Start by identifying key aspects of your brand's tone and voice. Is your tone formal or casual, friendly or authoritative? Define this so ChatGPT can reflect it in the content it generates for you. Some of the key identifiers, your tone, your style, your values, right? Here's a prompt. And if you guys want these prompts, y'all know what y'all got to do. Y'all got to join my community because I'm going to put the replay of today's training with these prompts in the description. So all you got to do is copy and paste. So how can you get ChatGPT to help you with your tone? Simply write this in ChatGPT. I want you to help me create content that matches my brand's voice. My tone is motivational and conversational with a focus on empowering fathers to build financial independence. I value authenticity and clear, actionable advice. Here's an example of a sentence I would write. So let's do that in real time, y'all. So I'm going to copy that script. And some of you guys are Cortez, how did it know that you talk to fathers and all of that? Well, because I've already checked the GPT that I'm using to create these examples for me. But what I need to now do, I've trained it for my coaching program, but what I want to do now is train it for my agency because I haven't trained it for my agency yet. And I thought it'd be cool for me to share that with y'all since I'm sharing with y'all how I'm building my actual community for my agency as well. So I'm going to share my screen with y'all right quick, and hopefully my bandwidth will allow us to get through this relatively quickly because we got a lot to cover, man, and a lot to do. So here we go. If I wanted to, I could start with that prompt, but y'all know me. If y'all been on any of my chat GPT trainings before, the first prompt I always start with, this is a brand new GPT. I like to start with giving chat some context about what I'm trying to do. So I'm going to do that first, and then we're going to start rolling through these prompts. So I'm going to say, good morning. I'm looking to build a comprehensive brand document and signature GPT for my marketing agency. Named of biz marketers. Now, this is the key, y'all. What do you need from me? This document needs to be thorough as it will be the main onboarding document for future staff. All right. So I always give it context first and have it tell me what I need to give it to make this thing really work and pop. All right. So now it's starting to give me what I need to give it. So it says agency overview. Let's start there. What is your mission and your vision? What is the purpose of local biz marketers? And what long-term goals do you want to achieve? Core values, what guiding principles define your agency's culture and approach? Unique selling proposition, what makes local biz marketers stand out in the market? Why should businesses choose you over competitors? So 
I need to start pulling all of this stuff in, right? So now, uh, target audience, and all you have to do, guys, is answer these questions or let me help you out with something else. If you haven't really sat down and taken the time to answer these questions about your business and or your brand, ask ChatGPT to give you the answer for the most common blankety blank in your industry. So I can say, I'm not going to ask it what my mission and vision should be, but I could say, what are some common core values that a marketing agency should have? And then it gives me a list of the common core values. I pick the ones that work for me, right? So we got all of this, the services and offerings and all of that good stuff. So I'm, I'm good to go on that. But we're going to stick with our script. I'm going to start with my brand's tone. So I'm going to use the script that I have, right? So I'm going to say, boom, I got the script. And I'm going to say, uh, I want to start with my brand's voice and tone. So I want you to help create content that matches my brand's voice. My tone is motivational and conversational. Uh, so now I, I, the GPT that I use brought in what my voice and tone is for my coaching program. I might want that to be a little different for my agency, but I'm also going to say, can you create in this style? Uh, so I'm going to say, instead of writing this sentence, I'm going to say, can you analyze this transcript and create a brand voice and tone analysis for my agency brand. All right, now I have some uh, transcripts from uh, previous videos and trainings that we've done. So I'm gonna go here and I'm going to go to my downloads and I'm just going to pull in one of those documents. There it is. I'm just gonna pull that in, let it analyze that and then boom. So now I'm getting a brand analysis of my voice and tone. What's the next thing we need ChatGPT to do as we train it, right? So step two on our list of the top seven ways to get ChatGPT trained up to sound more like me. It says, uh, provide ChatGPT with brand specific guidelines. Give ChatGPT a set of guidelines or rules to follow whenever it generates content for your brand, including phrases or words you frequently use and explain how you approach certain topics, right? So it gives me a sample prompt. Here are some guidelines I want you to follow when generating content for me. Always start with an engaging hook. I like that. That's how I want to start. Use words like fatherpreneur, time freedom, and legacy often. Keep the tone encouraging, solution-oriented, and avoid too much jargon. Can you create social media posts about time management for fatherpreneurs using these guidelines? So that's a prompt that I could use to get chat to test it and see if it's going to work for what I'm trying to get it to do, right? So if I want chat to sound like me and I want to continue to train it up, then I would go with that second prompt. So let's do that. I'm going to go back and I'm going to copy that prompt. And I'm going to throw that in there. All right. And what I like to do is I always like to uh, tell chat thank you <laughs> as I'm working or I like to congratulate. So I'll say perfect. Here are some guidelines I want you to follow when generating content for me. Always start with an engaging hook. 
And then I'm going to do one more. Try not to use generic cliches as I don't want to sound like a robot. All right. So boom. <clears throat> now we're just training it on how to write and sound like me. Father Benoist, feeling like there's never enough time? Prioritize your legacy. Leverage your power hours. Delegate like a CEO. That's good. I like that. Let me know if this needs any adjustments. So you see how I'm having a for real conversation. And when I'm done with all of this, y'all, I'm going to put all of this into a custom GPT so that chat remembers all of this stuff about me, about my brand. So when I go forward, all I got to do is say, hey, I'm trying to do this today. Give me some content and boom. Hey, I'm teaching this in my online community today. Give me uh, three good bullet points that align with our mission and our vision. That's how you make chat your assistant and you still remain authentic to who you are and what you are building and everything sounds like you. So let's move on. What's the number three thing we need to do if we're going to really train chat GPT to sound like us? Number three, provide chat GPT with sample content. What to do? Give chat GPT examples of your past work, such as blog posts, social media captions, or emails to help it learn how you write. This will ensure that it mirrors your unique voice and future content. Copy and paste a few examples of your content and ask ChatGPT to emulate this style when creating new material. So here are three examples of my writing. As a fatherpreneur, building a legacy isn't about income. It's about the example you set for your kids. When you learn how to automate your business, you gain time for what really matters, your family. Taking control of your financial future means stepping up, even if it's tough. You've got this. Please create a blog post intro on the importance of automating a side hustle using this same style. Now, I probably made a slight mistake in using this because I'm talking like the coach and not like the agency owner. So I will go back and kind of tweak some of those things. Instead of saying fatherpreneur, I need to replace all of that with local business owner. So let me see if ChatGPT can do that for me real quick. Hey, chat, I made a mistake. I want you to... model the voice and tone of the transcript that I provide. But for this brand, I'm talking to local business owners. What are some phrases identifying phrases I can use when speaking to this group that will replace fatherpreneur. So now I'm just kind of getting it off of fatherpreneur and we're going to replace that with local business owners, local business leaders, local entrepreneur, um, business owner, neighborhood business builder, uh, local biz pro. Um, great. Make a note of these. As I'll want to use all of them throughout my content how and this is this is a, a good one too y'all how do the top businesses that serve 
local businesses with marketing services address this community. Always model the top in your industry. So it gave me that. And then I started thinking, wait a minute, how does the top businesses that are already talking to these people, how do they address this community? So personalized service, a local SEO, top marketing agencies that service local business often focus on a combination of hyper-local targeting, personalized services, results-driven strategies. Uh, they effectively connect with local business owners using terms like community-focused marketing, neighborhood outreach, ROI-focused solutions. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. So that's good stuff. All right, let's keep it moving, man. I know we are running short on time, but y'all going to get this work today, all right? Because we still got to go back and tell it my services and all of those other things, right, that, that we offer. All right, Fatherpreneurs, hope you enjoy part one. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you get notified when part two comes out. Hit that little bell notification. Give me a like if you like uh, what you heard so far. And then let me know what do you think your biggest win is going to be when it comes to using ChatGPT in your business. I can't wait to hear from you. Stay tuned for part two. Yo, real quick, if you're catching this live, then you can hustle on over to CortezHustle.com forward slash open office hours to join us in a private Zoom room to get your questions answered. If you're watching this on the replay, then YouTube thinks you should watch this video next. And don't forget to hit the smiley face to subscribe to the channel and check out CortezHustle.com if you want to join our free community.